Hi there. I've had a few requests to demonstrate how to create the APA document or set it up in the newer version of Pages for Mac. So I'm going to walk you through that. It's pretty quick and easy. It's just things are in a slightly different place than in the older version. So we'll start with the inspector. It doesn't show up as a little eye and a blue ball here anymore. It's actually this little paintbrush. So if you just click on that, it will open up that drawer. Now, if you have a version that doesn't show that, just go up to View, and you should see Inspector, and then Show or Hide Inspector will be right there. So we'll start by formatting the text in the body of the pair of the pages. So it starts with Helvetica. That's just what the default is. I'm going to change that to Times New Roman and make sure that it's a 12-point font. Then I'm going to center it because this is my cover page and I want to make sure that it's double spaced. So all of these controls are here on the right hand side in that little drawer. So I'm going to hit the return a few times to get it closer to the center of the page and the first thing I type is the title of my paper. Then I type my name, the course name, the professor, and the date. And after I do that, I'm going to insert a page break. And that will push me on to the top of the next page automatically. And I'm going to change my alignment back to the left-hand side so I can start actually typing my text. And I've just copied some gibberish, and I'm going to paste it in there. So there's, there's my text on my second and third page. Now, I did a pretty good job of getting that centered, but if let's say I had it too far up like this. Notice I'm not pulling that text up with me. I can move this up and down and all over and it's not going to move that until I get to a second page. And that's because I added that page break. So now let's get to the harder part, the headers. So if you just put your cursor up at the top of the page you'll see those boxes appear. And the first thing I'll do is I'll start typing. Instead, that says insert page number, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to type my running head. Got to change that to Times New Roman again. And you type the words running head with a colon, and only the R is capitalized. And then you hit that caps lock and type the title. If it's a really long title, then limit it to the first four or five words or the first 40 to 50 characters. Then I'm going to go over here to the right hand box and I'll just hit insert page number. So my first page is done but I don't want running head on everything else. So I'm going to come down to the second page and see how this when I click in there it says start a new header or footer here. Click that little button and then just go in and delete the part that you don't want and you should be good to go. Now it's all set up. Now if you add another page, I'm going to paste a few more in there, it should pick it up on its own and just continue. But it's that simple and now you can save your document and finish your scholarship and you're ready to go.